hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kofi Serrani if you're new here I am a faith-based content I am a faith-based content creator so to speak um so for today's video what we're going to do we're going to talk about the May fast the last time I did a fast I was not feeling well but today I'm a lot better not there yet but a lot better so what we're going to do is just talk about the May fast and I have my book right here so we are going to just get right into it so the may first we are going to be praying and fasting for discernment and and the understanding of uh, god's atonement so for atonement it's all about understanding that god gave us the lord jesus christ to die for our sins understanding that and having the discernment to understand that this is not only for us it's not only for christians it's for everyone in the world who um wants or wishes to and uh, to go into um to go into following jesus christ the lord our savior so for atonement it's not really much that we're going to focus on but it's something that we need to understand something that we need to um remind ourselves time and time again because without it really what we're doing is just trying to um act on our own accord and that is not even possible whatever we're doing is not going to match up to what jesus christ did for us on the cross so for discernment <clears throat> we are going to ask for discernment in understanding the word of god when we are reading it we're going to ask for discernment in um when we're praying we're asking god to help us hear him help us to open our spiritual ears a spiritual heart a spiritual eyes um because we are not of this world we are in, we are creation of heaven so we need to focus on the things that are heavenly and not the things of this world because everything that happens in this world has already begun in heaven so we need to focus on that so that when it comes to this side it doesn't startle us it doesn't confuse us it doesn't make us unhappy that way we know that we as people have a deeper and a good connection with our heavenly father so <clears throat> so for the uh for this whole month we're going to focus on first corinthians 2 9 to 14 ephesians 1 16 and um, matthew 13 11 so with every single day you know i'm going to give you scriptures i'm going to try my best to do that on instagram i have been taking a social media fast and it has taken longer than i thought so i apologize if you don't see any uh communication from me there but i need it i need to get away from it um so yeah i'm getting away <laughs> so yeah for the first day we're going to praise and worship god that's what we're going to focus on i'm just going to give you two scriptures for every single day so that you guys can go back to them so for day one we're going to do praise and worship so we're going to focus on uh psalms 30 psalm 63 verse 4 and ephesians 5 verse 9 and then for the first second day we are going to ask god for the wisdom of understanding and for the wisdom for his wisdom and for his understanding and for that we're going to focus on proverbs 4 verse 6 to 7 and then job verse 28 28 um for the third day we're going to focus on understanding the atonement of god and here i wrote the action of making amends for a wrong the, the reconciliation of God and mankind through Jesus Christ so that's what I'm saying you need to understand that you can never do what you need to do to for God to help you for for God to save you it has already been done your atonement your atonement is Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is the one in the middle of you and god he is asking god in on your behalf he has asked god on your behalf that's why he came and he died for our sins that was his atonement to us so we need to know that it is not by our actions it is not by our strength it is not by our 
ways of living not necessarily our ways of living but we need to know that whatever we are doing jesus christ has already uh advocated for us to god so what we need to do is keep the promises of being faithful to him keep the promise of um worshiping and praising him and not having other idols <coughs> excuse me so that's what we're going to focus on on day three so day four we're going to focus on discernment so discernment is the ability to judge well judge well in the spirit not in the physical because judging in the physical is definitely wrong and we are not people to judge in the physical because the way god operates is not the way that we think so we don't want to get in the wrong side of god by judging people imagine if i'm judging um someone for someone for i don't know someone for doing so let's say a lady runs away with her kids and i judge her for that but in the in my physical understanding it is wrong but in the spiritual you don't know what god has planned you don't know what god thinks you don't know what god has in store for that lady you don't know what god said to that lady for that lady to <coughs> excuse me to uh flee with the kids we don't know people's situations let us refrain from judgment let's just refrain from judgment so that is day four and we're going to focus on malachi 3 verse 18 and hosea 4 verse 14 for day four for discernment and then day five we are going to ask god for the spirit of um obedience so for those for that day we are going to focus on deuteronomy 24 14 and first john 2 17 and for day six we are going to ask god for the fruits of the spirit to be to be elevated in our life so that we don't do things out of the fruits of the spirit and we're going to focus on galatians 5 22 to 23 and first corinthians 13 4 to 8 and then for day 7 we are going to focus on thanksgiving thanking god for hearing us thanking god for allowing us to be in his presence and we are the day the verses that we're going to focus on is uh first thessalonians 5 16 to 18 and daniel 2 2 23 so those are the days we are going to focus on those are the scriptures we are going to focus on on the on the seven days of may fast and if you have any questions please ask me in the description down below um i'm going to say this again if you're on medication if you're not feeling well and if it's not, if it's hard for you to fast i would suggest that you have prayer intervals uh, where you pray from 12 3 6 9 every single day a.m and p.m reading your bible praising and worshiping and make that your first cause that's not that's definitely not a normal thing that we do on a daily basis but if you um surrender yourself to that to say i'm going to be fasting and praying for the seven days and i'm going to go above and beyond what i've been doing if food is difficult for you to do or alternatively you can do the fruit and veggie fast um some people think it's not a fast but that's okay you can just omit things that we like you know your carbohydrates and your meats and just focus on the fruits and veggies so yeah that is my um gift to you for the month of may um <coughs> excuse me going forward i'm just trying to go with how i'm feeling because this flu has been going on for over two months now and i can't shake it off so i'm going to try my best to take out as much videos as i can uh maybe shoot two videos in a day or three if i can and then just divide it into 
the weeks that the month has so i thank you for watching i thank you for subscribing i thank you for liking and sharing my videos continue to do so let's continue to live intentionally in christ and I wanted to say this intentionally living in Christ is not only about reading the Bible um, praying and all those things it's all about acting out what you're doing in school are you living according to God well how you're acting with your how you're interacting with your friends and your family are you interacting in a respectful way in a loving way are you patient with other people when you go out to do your grocery shopping so those are the things that we're going to get into i'm just trying to put out as more sit down uh, content as much as possible and then the vlogs will come after that um how are you with your partner are you patient with them are you showing them unconditional love as jesus is showing us are you giving out the fruits of the spirit each and every day when you're at work those are the things that we're going to continue to show not only say um because some people well like um thomas thomas wanted to see so we are going to try and show you as much as possible as the months and the years go by so continue to subscribe to to watch our videos for more content like that and i'll see you in my next video bye guys